My name's Tim Cordell, National Umpire in Chief for USSA Baseball, and welcome to this week's training video. Does a runner have to slide at second base when a fielder is attempting to turn a double play? To get this play correct, let's start with Rule 5.09A13. A batter is out when a preceding runner shall, in the umpire's judgment, intentionally interfere with a fielder who is attempting to catch a thrown ball or to throw a ball in an attempt to complete any play. Next, let's look at Rule 6.01A5. It is interference by a batter or runner when any batter or runner who has just been put out or any runner who has just scored hinders or impedes any following play being made on a runner. Such runner shall be declared out for the interference of his or her teammate. So back to the initial question. Is the runner by rule required to slide when going into second on a double play? And the answer is no. The runner can run away from the fielder and not slide and still create a clean lane for that fielder to complete the double play. The runner is not required by rule to slide. However, if the runner goes into second base standing up, and that action hinders and impedes the fielder's attempt to turn a double play. This is interference. Time should be called, and the batter runner should also be out for the interference of the runner at second base. All other runners must go back to the base legally occupied at the time of the infraction, and no runs can score on this play. Let's recap by using the umpire's cheat sheet. Remember, who is the rule in place to protect? In this play, the rule is in place to protect the fielder. If the runner does anything out of the ordinary and hinders and impedes the fielder, the fielder should be protected. Does the runner's actions hinder or impede? If the runner hinders or impedes the fielder, the batter runner is out also and no runners may advance from the base occupied at the time of pitch. And finally, does the fielder have to throw the ball for the umpire to call interference? And the answer is no. The rule simply states if the runner hinders or impedes the fielder's ability to complete the play. It says nothing about the fielder throwing the ball. So if the runner hinders or impedes the fielder, interference should be called. Thank you for watching this week's training video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a great week of baseball.